Okay, we're rolling. What else is there? Okay, you, you skipped over uh, Bessie. Pardon? When did you meet Bessie? Bessie, we met um, I was going to, well, going to uh, well, I was going to, a senior in high school. Yeah? And did she go to high school with you or no? She went to high school. I don't know if she finished high school or not. I finished it. I was ready to go. Uh, did, she, did you meet her at high school? Pardon? Yeah. At high school you met her? No, she lived across the, not across the street from me, you know, but the Agley from me. The Snyders lived, I lived on Asshole Street. She lived, oh, about an angle away from me. And they all lived together? All the uh, sisters and brothers were all there? Oh, yeah, and they had about three, three uh, Snyder families in that house, about big families, big must have been the day a high house of about three, three families of Snyder's. Three Adam families? Adam Snyder's and another one. Okay. So not all Snyder families? Well, they're related. But Rel they're related? Yeah, same thing. So you met Bessie. Yeah. Then how long after you met Bessie before you got married? About six, about six months. Six months. Yeah. And... And then, uh, when was Anne born? Anne born... How long were you married? I was married about... Six months. Seven, eight months, or nine months. Nine months. I married him <laughs> yeah, by the... Uh, oh, about nine months before she was pregnant. Okay. About two months before, yeah. About nine months before she was pregnant. Yeah. And uh, so she, so she had, a, she had, you had a, a baby, and then uh, what were you doing at the time? Where were you, where were you working when that happened? I was working for my brother, uh, Miter, on the Maine and Clinton. Okay, so you're working with uh, on Maine and Clinton before, and then you went to the well, army, I and then. Time you were 13? A bit from 1932, when I was going to school even. Yeah? When I was going to high school, two years before. Okay. I worked straight through, straight through, mainly Clinton, and for many, many years, you know, and 30, 40 below zero, and, you know, weather didn't mean a thing to me, and, but long as you hopped a little bit, but um, time was no uh, element for to stay. Uh, time moved faster because uh, people, you know, continuous people, clock moved fast. You put in 12, 14 hours with like you know, a seven, eight hour work. And so uh, then you went to back to work after uh, the factory jobs. Then you went back to work for your brother? Yeah. Yeah. I worked for them before and I worked for him after. And how long did you work for him? Well, I worked for him. I've been in this business 59 years. So The whole time? 59 years, including worldwide news. So where did you live after you married Bessie? We lived on Scranton Street, I think. Was it an apartment or a house? No, 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 no. A rental. Rental house? Yeah. And then... And uh, then uh, I think about a year later or two years later, uh, my sister's Sally was a real estate. She got me a house in North Northumberland. Oh, that quick. And then uh, about seven years after there, about nine years after Anne was uh, Marty, right? No, no, I think I, I think I had the house before, didn't I? You don't remember? No, you didn't have the house before Marty. Marty was born it was either on Vienna Street 
Or Scranton Street, I don't know. When did you live on Vienna Street? Or Scranton. Okay. The first time, I think, was Vienna Street or Scranton Street. I don't know which one. And then you, then, then with both the kids, then you moved to Northumberland. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, what else happened? What was going on around that time? Pardon? What was going on around that time? I was working for my brother Yin. Yeah? Yeah, and then he moved, and then I... I uh, did I leave him or not? Anyway, he sold a place. And uh, he moved, they moved, they moved us off the corner. But we were having the whole corner and had boxes all over. Well, anyway, he moved us a little farther down, and he finally took a place on South Avenue, about two, about two buildings away from Vans on South Avenue to Main Street, from Main Street, and he. He worked there and he wasn't doing well, so he sold it to a fellow from New York for, I don't know, 10000 at that time. So this was... And, and, and I was, uh, I was left out. I, I mean, he was left He sold it there and the guy says, money where for So I, I went to work with him. Besides that, he was distributing the, a book. <laughs> uh, is he chew are you chewing gum, uh, by the way? A car book at that is he? time. A he car book, a car book. And we were, what he uh, went to, I think, no, Darren, I don't think worked for me yet. Darren was delivering it after that. A car, used car book, how to buy a used car book. And we built up about $13,000 bank account. We had a account. He was had part of the worldwide, uh, not worldwide, Spectre News at that time, and we distribute. He had me distributed with him, and we built up. A, him and I were partner. We built up about thirteen thousand dollars, and my brother shut him off. His wife shut him off. He didn't want to sell it, so he had to pay for the penalty, the, the 10000 besides they rented a, a station wagon and they had to pay the lease. It cost them a fortune to get out of that and he got out of that. And, and, and my, the partner that I had, that was, who, on both names, I, uh, my, I talked to the attorney, he says, go and take half of it out to go to Buffalo, take half of it out, and leave the other half. If he wants it, let him take the other half. I went to take my half out. About two, two three days later, the, he waked off the whole 13,000. So he disappeared after he sold this. And I went to work for my brother for another, and my brother sold it to, uh, Fred Marshall. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Tell me, this was all, this is the 40s and into the 50s. What was Rochester like during the 40s and 50s? It was a two corner uh, city. What the busy was between the, the four corners and Maine and Clinton cities. That was the whole. All the people that opened it, that lived in the city had to go by a, the bus that stopped on Main and Clinton. The assemblies arranged it so a bus stopped in there. It, it from all from all routes in the city, they had to stop there. And finally, they they changed the routes because. They were blocking Sibley's doorways, waiting for the, what they call them. It was really a, 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 a debit instead of an asset there. So, so 
So, anyway, so what was the city like? So people got around by buses? Anybody well, have their own car too? 90% of people were buses. Most yeah. of them were buses. The only ones that had really cars at that time was, you know, people with pretty fair jobs. Yeah. What were your brothers doing then? My brother worked for me. One brother, uh, what, what, what one brother do? One brother, oh, no, no, both brothers at that time before that worked for the Journal American. Rochester's Journal American. You know, there was another newspaper in Rochester. And before he even got into this, this, the newsstand, he, oh, this got to be 1925, 30. He, he, he bought the newsstand and uh, the rest of the journal went out of business. And so what were, uh, this is all in the 40s and 50s, uh, what were Ann and Marty like then? What was that? Ann and Marty. What were they like as kids? Well, I'll tell you something. Uh, Anne wasn't too bad. Marty was not a was. He was, uh, he got, I think, uh, mother favored uh, Marty for some reason or other, and she, you know, he, he pick up something heavy, she would say, don't pick up anything heavy. She was very, very tough with him, with him. But he was no problem anyway. Yeah. But, and, uh, you know, I was home very, very little because 99% of the time I was working and making nothing. But, uh, then, uh, you went to work, and you were working. Uh, your brother sold the business to Marshall. Sold the business to Marshall. R when was that? About about nineteen eighty something like that. Seventy five eighty. Yeah. And Marshall didn't want to take the. He didn't want to buy it until. He bought, he took me. He never met the guy in my life. He, he wanted to take me, or he ain't going to buy it. He wasn't going to buy it. So we finally, I uh, finally told my brother Charlie Meyer, what we used to call him Charlie because he walked like this, Charlie Chapman. Yeah. You didn't know which huh. way he was going, just so he, that way. But anyway, I, he, uh, he bought it, and I, I still got the. What did I show you? The the notes I the the payments I got to, to get into it. The stock. He sold the stock, and he wanted to give me forty nine. Fred said that no. I said I want fifty. If you want to give me fifty, don't give me fifty. Fred says okay. I'll give you fifty. We went up to a. A lawyer by the name of Manaham up in the Times Union building, and he, we drew it. Uh, we drew it up, and I'll show it to you when, when before you go to the stock. What do you call it? I got. And and in six months we made. I made my fifty. I was getting ten uh, every month or so. We was getting. Took ten percent of the profit I took, or something like that, till I got fifty, and I got the fifty. And about six months later, he says I got enough money. He says, he says, uh, I'll sell it to you for five hundred thousand. How long a period I was this? Five hundred thousand for that, and then my brothers think I got it for nothing. I paid five hundred thousand. I paid eight thousand. Fifty-eight dollars every month for nearly. Uh, I paid it up in nine years. He wanted it ten years. I gave it him in, in nine years. He got burned up because I paid him the last two payments at the same time, 
And he says, what's the matter with you? You want to save some of this stuff? Well, anyway, I say, and that's when I started to get big, 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 big. You know, we get three to 7,000 people every day for seven days a week. Do you believe it? Yeah. Believe it? Well, anyway, it started to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But 14, 15 hours was nothing, nothing. Our, our business was about 25, say 20, about 20, 25% business people, about 65% Laymen, about 10% undesirables. That's how we broke up, or what they call it. And we got bigger. Finally, I put in the mix, uh, cost me 75000 to put up an extension. Now we have.